It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and we got two beers today from AB InBev and they're both within 0.1% of each other. And I thought I'd make a video today regarding Stella Artois and Budweiser, the king of beers. One's in a green glass bottle, one is in a brown bottle both in 660 milliliter bottles, the Budweiser being 4.5, the Star Artois being 4.6. They're both brewed in the UK. And it was only just now, whilst looking at the two beers, kind of weighing up what I was gonna kind of say and do in this beer review, that I thought to myself, could it possibly be the same beer packaged in different packaging? You're allowed in the UK to have a, a variation in ABV up to, I think, 0.4, 0.5%. So they're definitely within that, 0.1 of a percent. So let's get the beers out into a glass and see what we get. This is Budweiser versus Stella Artois. This is a twist off cap, but I never twist the caps off. They hurt my hands. Budweiser pouring out one to two finger. White head, good levels of carbonation, straw coloured, pale lager, very clean to look at. Let's pour out the Stella. Isn't this interesting? Could it be? Could it be the same beer? The only difference, so I think the biggest difference between the two lagers will probably be the glass bottle. If there's going to be a difference, it's going to be between the, it's going to be between that brown and green bottle. Green glass is notoriously bad to skunk. It it, it absolutely kind of skunks a beer, skunks the hops. It's actually got Budweiser written on the back of this. Stella Artois bottle. Beer in the glass, one finger white head, good levels of carbonation. I think it's a little bit deeper in colour this one, but I don't think it's much. Straw coloured. Clear, good carbonation. Let's offer them up side by side. I mean, there's not much in that, is there? There's not much at all. If anything, if anything, the Budweiser is slightly lighter, but there's not much in this. So let's go. Let's get into the Budweiser aroma. It doesn't smell of much at all, really. Little bit of sweet, mazy, light malts. Little bit of a small touch of a kind of a peppery spiciness. Stella Artois. Now uh, the difference here, I'm going to say, is Saz hops. Straight away with the Stella Artois, it's Saz hops. You're picking up more of a European hop aroma on the beer. 
and that for me is probably Saz. I mean, we'll have a read on the back of the bottle in a bit. Okay, let's try the Budweiser. Very sweet. Very sweet beer. Very syrupy. Syrupy and sweet. Not much in the way of hops. Not much in the way of anything really, other than being a really, for me, overly sweet beer. Overly sweet beer. Almost kind of to the point where it's undrinkable. A little bit of carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. It's just wet, quite refreshing, sweet, malts, lager. Not much in the way of hops at all. Let's try the Stella Artois. A little bit drier, a little bit drier, nowhere near as sweet, nowhere near as sweet. Grainy, grainy, wafer biscuit flavours compared to the Budweiser. And you do pick up some of those sours hop on the back end. It, it, it's, there's a little bit of bitterness there. To be honest, to be honest, I'm preferring the Stella. And it's funny, isn't it? I've stood here all year, 2023. I've reviewed UK Stella versus Belgian Stella. I said the UK Stella was almost undrinkable. Uh, I've put the regular UK Stella up against Stella Unfiltered this year if you want to watch these videos and I really like the Stella Unfiltered and I said the regular Stella was almost undrinkable but isn't it funny when you pick up something I mean I can't believe there's something worse than Stella to be honest with you UK Stella is a poor poor cousin of Belgian Stella Artois, in my personal view. But it's actually outperforming UK brew Budweiser. I'm finding this Budweiser to be... I'm going back to the Stella. I mean, you look at the beer, there's no etching on the bottom of this glass. This beer, this Budweiser, has etching on the bottom of the glass, which creates carbonation. And the Stella Artois has better carbonation than the Budweiser. The Budweiser, even with the etching on the bottom of the glass, is... Actually, they both have a little bit of etching on the bottom of the glass. I'm not sure if you can see that on the Budweiser. But I'm, I'm kind of going for the Stella. You're actually picking up more grain. You're picking up more of the light wafer grain flavours in the in the beer over the over the Budweiser, and it's certainly hoppier. Going back to the Budweiser now, this is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> That's awful. It almost it almost tastes like fizzy pop. Sweet fizzy pop. Now. I know the Americans like sweet stuff. I know that their palates are definitely sweeter than the European palate. But I didn't realise how sweet 
Budweiser was putting it up against Stella Artois. I can't remember my ratings for the Stella versus the Belgian Stella, UK Stella versus Belgian Stella, and I can't remember the ratings for UK Brewed Stella versus Stella Artois Unfiltered. So I'm just going to go on this particular day and this particular how I'm feeling compared to the two beers, how they're kind of performing against one another. I'm going to give the Budweiser a 3 out of 10. A 3 out of 10. There's no head retention. There's no head retention whatsoever, whereas the Stella has some head retention. The Stella Artois is better carbonated. The Stella Artois, at least you're picking up some grains. The Budweiser is a sweet, mucky mess. The Stella is drier, crisper, cleaner. Hoppier. I just want to check if it's Saz hops. I believe it's, uh, do they say, I've read, ah. Ah, there we are, I, I knew it says. Hand-selected Saz hops there on the neck of the bottle. It's a, it's a lovely hop, the Saz hop. It's one of the most underrated hops, I think, in the world, the Saz hop. It goes so well with lager. Um, three out of 10 for the Budweiser. UK Brewed Stella Artois on this occasion is a 6, it's a 6 out of 10, it's much better. If I was standing in a pub and the choice was UK Brewed Budweiser or UK Brewed Stella Artois and that's the only choice I had, then I'd probably choose the Stella. Slightly higher in ABV, definitely different beers. So, so we started that whole conversation at the very beginning of is Budweiser and Stella the same beer? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's a completely different beer. So we ruled that out. Um, I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.